All right, Halos, welcome back to Final Fantasy 16. Uh, we just finished talking to Byron. Uh, he kind of found, like, was like bribing the men of the rock or something like that, exactly. Something. But yeah, uh, let's continue on. Fucking men of the wrong. Anytime they pull their snouts under cook, there's trouble. Oh, wait, hold on. Rendezvous with the soldiers in the desert. Okay. Gotcha. So I guess we're heading out this way then, right? That seems right. Uh, maybe not actually. Hello, who are you? This river runs all the way to the southern seas. They used to load the crystal onto barges and sail it. Hmm. Uh, I don't know how we get that direction unless we're going to the desert gate. Can't go to the south gate. Yeah, okay. So we probably have to go to the desert gate then. Uh, you know what? I'll save like. 10 seconds of travel, or <laughs> something like that. Let's just fast travel over there real quick. Why is the tavern <clears throat> shot? Should be out this direction over here. All right. Let's see what we got. Uh, I can't remember the the button to call my chocobo, but hopefully it'll pop up. There we go, yep, five, all right. <clears throat> That'll save us a little bit of time. Oops. My Ready bad. Go. I'm used to pressing E to activate stuff, not F. All right. Let's head out. Yeah, I'm not sure why we need to like go to the south gate. Well, okay, I guess maybe this area is different. Okay, never mind. It's not connected to that area. That's probably why. But still, we could probably just like hop the wall. I don't think they'd notice if we do it, went to a place that's not guarded. But you know, it's fine. Let's do this. <clears throat> Rendezvous with the soldiers in the desert. Okay. Oh, something over there. Alright. It auto dismounted us. Probably getting into a little mini cutscene here. Take it from here. All right. I was beginning to think you weren't coming, my lord. You've brought your contribution? All the silver and stones I could scrape together at such short notice. You brought the whole 500 talents. That was the price we agreed upon, yes? If you've no objections, I'd like to see the crystal. Of course. Right this way, my lord. I feel like they're just going to try and ambush us. Not bad at all you weren't lying about the clarity but what of security if i were to be stopped on the road what guarantee have i that it wouldn't be seized as property of the republic because these crystals are no longer the property of the republic you're not buying from us you're buying from them and we have no more jurisdiction here than you my lord but we have ships, and will gladly deliver to a port of your choosing, now that our price has been met. Royalists, eh? What brings you here? Why, to collect their share of Drake's Fang's blessing, of course. Our nations are allies, and so they are entitled to a portion of the Mother Crystal's bounty. And, being such good friends, we elected to increase that portion and share the benefits. And now that these crystals are officially property of the Kingdom of Walud, we are duty-bound not to interfere, no matter where they might happen to end up next. Did you get all that? They're in cahoots! <sighs> so it would seem. My lord, what is the meaning of this? Double-crossing dogs. They're not here to do business. Kill them. Kill them both. 
<laughs> Good luck with that. It's private guard. Get a freaking wrecked, buddy. Oh, okay, I, don't think, I think it's overkill, but sure. It's not over yet, Uncle. Good. I'm just getting warmed up. <laughs> Chaplain. Alright, it's overkill, but it's fine. Try to get close in range for this guy. There we go, should be in range now. <clears throat> Alright, I think that's it. Oh, no, never mind. Hold on, let's grab this real quick. Steel silk. Wow, there are quite a few enemies here, actually. I need to get closer. There we go. Whoa. Course? Course there? Chocobos or something? Trained, I guess. Oh, get freaking punched. Noise. Alright, there we go. Level up. Oh, nice, nice. Level 30. It's a nice big number. I uh, got some still silk, trap fangs, and magic hash. All right, let's see what happens next. Well, that wasn't too bad. How'd you like my performance, huh? I've often played the villain on the stage. I think I did the role justice, don't you? Great, Beard. You were magnificent. The battle scene was particularly thrilling. Such a shame you didn't have more of an audience, but. Perhaps that's for the best? How long have you been watching? Long enough to witness your uncle's sordid transaction. I hardly expected one so venerable to degrade himself so thoroughly. Buying one's way into the confidence of degenerates. Ingenious? This was the trouble you spoke of. The men of the Rock taking Crystal's men for the common folk and conspiring with the Royalists. Well... Now it's over. Indeed it is. The people of Dalamil had scarcely any means of address against Kupka's men, let alone a foreign army. Until you two came along, that is. Well, we'd better get these crystals back to town. You won't mind waiting with them while I fetch a wagon. <laughs> All right. Seems like we've earned his trust. That's good. Maybe. Maybe we've earned his trust. <laughs> Sometime later. It occurs to me that I still don't know your name. Clive. <laughs> so... Sid the second is a Clive. <laughs> I suppose it could have been worse. Well, Clive, you held up your end of the bargain, so I must do the same. Passage through the south gate, was it not? To tell the truth, you've helped a little there too. Many of the guards have already been redeployed to deal with the issue of their missing comrades. And those left behind have been... Encouraged to look the other way should you attempt to pass through. Thank you. Nice. And please allow me to cover your costs. Uh, you still have the purse I gave to the soldiers, I trust. I saw you pluck it from one of the bodies. Oh, dear. Was I really so obvious? And my name is not Greybeard. It is Lord Byron Rosfield. Thank you very much. No, thank you very much. Greybeard. Double the... <laughs> Here, wear this. Nice. Desert Rose. Any friend of mine who sees you with it shall be a friend of yours. Thank you, Lubor. And please, feel free to send one of my Stolases back to your people. Tell them that... 
Rosina Dalamil is back in bed with Sid. All right. Oh, we are lost, Alan. To his Achilles. Oh, hello. I'm trusting you, Sid. Or should I say, Clive? So be sure not to let me down. I have a reputation to uphold. <laughs> Alrighty then. So, where to next? <clears throat> well then, I wish you a safe journey south. Thank you. Not at all. It was my pleasure. Come on, Uncle. Let's go. Quest complete. Nice. Follow the crystals. Alright. Let's head to the south gate then, right? We could do some side quests here, but I think I'm just gonna keep on with the main quest for now. I have some other things I other games things I wanna get to if possible, so um, if you guys want to check out side quests, feel free to get the game and do it for yourself. I'll probably do the side quests eventually in uh, by myself, maybe in a stream or something. We'll see if you guys are interested. In that. Was true to his word. But for now, let's uh, let's just do the main quest. Should get going soon. Do you have water? Oh, hold up. Ah, I'm not too late. What is it, Lubal? A question that I neglected to ask earlier. Where is it that you're bound? To Drake's Fang. To finish Hugo Kupka. Ah, just as I thought. Then allow me to share a secret. Drake's Fang is currently riddled with royalists. Tomeki and Walud are allies, and as you have seen, their soldiers work hand in glove. But no nation has ever before allowed a foreign army to make a barracks of its holiest of holies. Not by choice, at least. And there's more. My man on the inside of the Fang has failed to report for several days. I fear there may be more trouble lying in wait for you on the road ahead. <laughs> Isn't there always? <laughs> if you're determined to beard the lion's den, then promise me one thing. That you will enter via the mines, where the guard is lightest. Alright. I've lost one Sid already. If I lose another, people will start to think me careless. I don't plan on dying. Not before Kupka does, anyway. Well, so long as you have a plan. Cool. Knew a little secret area way to get in then, I guess. That's helpful. Drake's right. Fang should be just beyond these springs. Shall we press on? Come on, Ambrosia. Come on, girl. The gate's open now. We can press on. <laughs> I guess we'll just keep following the path. It's probably the best way to go. Obviously, there's some side stuff we could probably grab if we wanted to, but I'm good for now, I think. Three desert roses. Nice. Yeah, there's clearly some side stuff you can grab. Probably, maybe quests, I'm not sure, or just uh, enemies you can grab if you want. <coughs> Excuse me. The jaw. Okay. All right, it's auto dismounting us. Let's see what's up next. Jaw obelisk. Nice. A little fast travel. There point. it is. Drake's Fang. Ah. Not as cool looking Luke as I thought. will be hiding inside. <laughs> Along with goodness knows how many guards, all on highest alert, you'll need to keep your wits about you if you're to reach him. So be careful. I will, Uncle. Before you go, Clive, 
allow me to apologize. After what befell at Phoenix Gate and the crisis that followed in its wake, I fled. I retreated to my counting house and danced attendance upon the Vicerine in the hope it would bring me favor. I betrayed my nation to save my skin, like the coward I am. And I'm sorry. Uncle, please. It's not too late, Clive. Rosaria is yours by right, and there are those that would help you to take it back. Had I the courage of my brother, I might already have done so. But that ship has sailed. You, however... No. Forgive me, but I cannot. I fight to build a new world now. A better world. Where men can live and die on their own terms. I was raised in a nation that strove to improve the plight of bearers. Only later did I realize that spark of freedom did not arise by chance, but was kindled by my father. You would see me follow in his footsteps. And that is exactly what I mean to do. Not by ruling Rosaria, but by extending his ideals to the whole of the twins. Though every soul in the realm may judge my actions heresy, I am certain my cause is just. You really are just like him, you know? Thank you, Clive, for coming back to me. I am proud to call you nephew. Well then, this is where we must part ways. Wish me luck in convincing my Canvarian friend to share his considerable talents. I mean to plunder his coffers and prove myself worthy of a place in your merry band. <laughs> Till then, my boy. Till then. Go safely, uncle. And you. Nephew, we have much to catch up on, you and I. I shall expect you to regale me with the tales of all your adventures when next we meet. <laughs> you can regale me too, Torgal. <laughs> For you, Kuka. Alrighty then. Looks like Drake's Fang is where we're headed to next. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead. Actually, no, nah. We'll go ahead and fast travel to it. But uh, pretty soon here, we're gonna go ahead and end the episode. So let's fast travel there, get it started, and then uh, continue in the next part. Hugo, the table shan't hurt you any longer. 
He sought to humiliate me. Me! If you hadn't interfered, he would be dead! You truly believe you would have triumphed had the battle continued? Titan would have ground him into dust! And how would he have done that without his head? Shut up! You weren't strong enough, and you call yourself a dominant. Or rather, you did. You mock me, Harbert. Do you see, Hugo? You are weak. Fuck! But so long as that fire burns within you, there is still hope. There may yet be a way for you to take your revenge. Tell me, what must I do? Please, I'll do anything. Just tell me. The heart. What of it? A mother crystal's heart is the most concentrated source of ether in all creation. Perhaps you could take advantage of that. Of course, the crystal would not yield her blessing to any ordinary man. But then, you are no ordinary man, are you, Hugo? Clive Rossfield stole your power, but others have suffered a similar fate, and still managed to find the strength to conjure their icon. Like Benedicta Harmon. She too drank of the ether and gained a power beyond human understanding. She did. Benedicta. Benedict. I'll do it, my love. I'll avenge you. Run along now, Hugo. You need only follow the light. Muthos is here. Very well, it shall be so. You may leave everything to me, your majesty. Hmm, interesting. Let's bring them from ash. Alright, 
into the darkness. And that's where we'll continue in the next episode. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I do appreciate it, and I'll catch you guys in the next part. All right, peace.